Hey everybody, it's been a while. So it is Wednesday night, Wednesday night. I just got out of the shower. I am so excited and like next Friday, I think I go get my roots done. They look awful. So, but I thought I'd come on here really quick. Um, one of the things I love to use is this Money Mist. It is a leave-in conditioner. Absolutely love it. It's got a little lock up top. So I took it to my hair place the last time and it has like this cool like continuous spray thing. Mm. But I've been to a couple Astros games lately. Super fun. But oh man, life has been so busy and so crazy. Um, it's just been a lot. I've been very overwhelmed. A lot going on, a lot planned. I think this weekend we're gonna go to the zoo with the kids. So there's just a lot going on. We have a lot of construction going on at work. Um, so we're trying to figure out like how to navigate different processes and where to do things and what to do and how to do it. And it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. It's very stressful. It's something I've never had to deal with before. Um, and I know it probably doesn't sound like, oh, it's a big deal, right? But when you have patients that you're treating and taking care of every day, it's a lot to try to figure out like, how do we do what's safest, what's best for the patient, what's gonna make them the happiest. And so it can be really difficult. And then you have that extra layer of staff members and you know, how does their satisfaction and their safety factor into all of this? And then like, what do, what are your hospital leadership, you know, what do they think? What do they want to do? And so it's a whole, it's a whole thing, but um, my oldest son is going, so tomorrow's the last day of school and he is going to end up missing the last day of school because his choir trip got postponed for the really bad weather that we had a few weeks back. They were going to San Antonio to, um, oh, sorry, I'll itch. Um, Fiesta Texas in Schlitterbahn. I grew up at Fiesta Texas. That was the only place I think I've ever had season passes to in my entire life. So anyway, I'm excited for him. We're gonna miss him while he's gone, but. So I'm gonna put this on. I'm at the very, very end of this. I have a little bit more. And then I have my Summer Fridays jet lag mask and my Summer Fridays jet lag eye serum, the overnight eye serum. And then I'll finish off with my Summer Fridays lip. So, um, I just because this, see, look, I feel like every time I feel like this is at the very end, it ends up having more. It's like Mary Poppins' little bag of goodies. But this stuff is expensive. And so I want to use every last drop. But um, I tanned again this morning. So what I've been doing is I'll tan and then I'll wait a day or two and then I'll tan again in the morning um, before I go to work. And that's how I tend to get like my perfect tan color for me. Um, I mean, you know, I'm pasty. So this is a good color for me. You can't really see it very well either in here. My legs are really dark, which I love, but you can see the difference between my face and like my, my chest color here and my arms. So, but especially during, during the summer, I just really like to have that bronze color. I never cared about it until I think it was last year I started doing it, but cause I spend a lot of time. So our, our neighborhood pool is opening this weekend. We're going to take the kids to the zoo and then, um, on Saturday and then Sunday, we're gonna go to our pool. And during the summer, this is actually, the. this will be the second year, but the first year, last year, we spent like every day we could in the, in the neighborhood pool. And it's funny because we never did before. Like we've, we built in our neighborhood, let's see, 13 years ago. Yeah, 13 years ago. And we had never been to it, n never used it until last year and we had a blast and there weren't really that many people. I think I thought because it was small that uh, there would just be a whole lot of people there and I don't, I don't like large crowds. 
especially in a pool where, you know, kids are peeing and, but there really weren't a ton of people and we had a really good time. So we love to go and do that. Um, so because I'm wearing a bathing suit all the time, I like to wear, I mean, I like to darken. I need to probably put more on my stomach too, because I look a little pasty, but oh, this is a really short little catch up. I'm going to do another one in the morning because I have to do my hair and um, my makeup and get my son ready to go for his trip. But um, I'm still on antibiotics. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, I had a spot right here from when I got my eyebrows waxed a few weeks ago and I ended up getting um, cellulitis from it. And from those of you that don't know, if you don't get on antibiotics, it can be really, really bad and spread everywhere. So I got on antibiotics just in time. Um, I've had it before on my face. For some reason, I have these spots right here and right here. And if you're like right on top of me, you can see them. You cannot see them in here. But I have these two, these pores right here and right here that tend to flare up. And they, I've gotten cellulitis over here before. And it's really bad, um, especially when it gets around areas like your orbital socket or somewhere near like a like a major you know your spinal cord things like that so um the er doctor before when i went for this one she was like we're, we're not playing with that but same thing happened here when i went to urgent care um i go to the best urgent care ever uh it's owned by memorial herman it's called go health love my practice my i love my practitioners there they have always done me very right um, they know what they're doing. Absolutely love them. Um, I go to them all the time. I take my kids, my husband, everybody to them. I absolutely trust them and adore them. So anyway, um, I might end up having a little scar here, but I was super swollen. It hurt so bad around here. It was bad. So they had given me a, a Rocephin injection in the butt and now I have to take oral antibiotics for seven days. So, but the swelling is gone. I remember when I woke up, for several days after the swelling was really bad. And luckily I have direct access to a lymphedema expert. And so I went and sat in her office right after they gave me the injection. And I was like, okay, like my eye was so swollen. You could see all the fluid in my eye and all here. You could see the fluid like hanging. And uh, I probably scared her. She's like, I said, okay, how do I get rid of this? And so she sat and told me, all the tricks, like she helps all of our cancer patients uh, after having surgery with their lymphedema, things like for breast cancer, like mastectomies, and if they have head and neck cancer and they've had removal of lymph nodes and things like that, and they have a lot of swelling and, um, and fluid issues, she helps them. And so I was like, she's the one to go to, I'm gonna get this taken care of. So, um, but I was so thankful. So I did that constantly. She showed me like what to do, how to get it to drain, all the stuff. And so I felt like a new woman shortly after. I was so thankful for her. But anyway, so this one's going to be short and sweet, but I was just getting out of the shower. thought I would catch up, show you my nighttime routine just for now. I'm going to let this air dry. Sometimes if I have time at night, I will actually use my um, Shark Flex Styler and I will blow dry it and get it all done. But I'm just going to do that in the morning. So I'll let it dry my hair now. So growing up, it was super straight as a board. And now it's very um, just like this. Like you see it, it'll dry and look just like this. Like it's very beach wave type. And so some days I'll leave it like that. And then other days I like to actually blow it out, which you've seen in a lot of my videos. So probably tomorrow I'm going to blow it out because I haven't done that in a while. So, but I will do a get ready with me tomorrow morning before I take my son. So I hope you'll have a wonderful Wednesday night and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye. Yeah.